Hey, what's going on? Eric Cortina here, Texas Barnumanium. So it's 2.45 a.m. and Daniel and I are on our way to go pour some concrete. Uh, we're gonna pour about 100 yards of concrete today. We're gonna be down around Pearsall, Texas. So, so yeah, we gotta get up early to go pour some concrete. Uh, it is 70 degrees right now and it's gonna get hotter, so. Uh, you know, it started to get hot enough to where we gotta get up really early so we can take advantage of the cool temperatures. So anyway, it's gonna be quite a bit of a drive, so uh, we'll see you when we get there. All right, so we're almost to the job site. It is 4.07 a.m. and I just got a call from the pump. He is lost. So, uh, of course, we're down here in Pearsall and you can imagine, <laughs> if you're ever in Pearsall, there's nothing here so we're going to hopefully find a pump soon he kind of told me where he was at and I'm hoping he's close to the job site so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the job site and I uh, hope to see him on the way there see I'm trying to turn here myself and uh, here it is so I'm gonna go to the job site and hopefully he's somewhere close by if not we're gonna have to go find him <laughs> Fun, fun, fun. Uh, the good thing is that we are early. So we're gonna pour at 5 a.m. It is four, like I said, 4.07 a.m. So we have about uh, 45 minutes to find a pump and get him set up uh, before the trucks show up. So that's why I always like to be early, man. You just, uh, just gotta be the first one there. So anyway, uh, we're gonna go find a pump now. If that's where he's at, he's really far away from the job site. I mean, because the job site, I'm, I'm, man, I'm west of 35 by a good 10 miles. Let me, uh, he just called me. You know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do? I'm gonna send him my, my drop in to, to the location. All right, let me do that. All right, bye. Okay, so dispatch just called me and told me where the pump is at and turns out he is very far away from where he needs to be. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, the pump operator just called me, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send him a drop in to my location uh, and hopefully we can get him here that way. Uh, fun, 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 it's always fun, man. Hey, I just sent you the, the pin to where you need to be. I know. Yeah, no, that dispatch just called me and said where you were at. I'm like, no, he's way far away. So uh, I just sent you the drop in. Did you get it? Okay, yeah, yeah. Check it out and, 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 and uh, haul ass. <laughs> All right, see you here. Call me if you need anything. Bye. All right, so... So I just talked to uh, the concrete company and we are out here in Pearsall and we are far away from the plant. So we are gonna use up about a hundred yards. So he is going to send me 10 trucks back to back. This thing should go really smooth, but cross my fingers because I've said that before and things always always something has to happen so like right now the pump is what we're waiting on is that the pump is that the pump it's not the pump um well, i'm gonna sit over by the road so um it should go really smooth if everything <laughs> if everything goes as planned which i'm hoping so we're starting really early and uh so we're starting really early. So we're hoping that, you know, we can get these trucks poured out before, before the, uh, you know, the sun comes out or at least before it gets hot. So of course already we're waiting on the pump because he was lost. So anyway, uh, it is 4.31 AM right now. So we got 30 minutes before the trucks show up and I'm hoping we have a pump here by then. We'll see. It's yep, pump. that's a pump. <laughs> we got us a pump. All right, so it is 4.40, so he's still early. 
Come on, come on. Oh, I guess you can't see. <laughs> Let me flash the light so you can come over here. Get in here. All right, Daniel. We got us a pump. On time, every time, about 99% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it, man. These guys are good. I, I, I wouldn't use anyone else. Things are going very good here. We have poured out 80 yards. We have the main slab done and we are waiting on two more trucks to start on the uh, carport and the porch. That's going to get us very close. We may have to get a kicker, but uh, the kicker we can tailgate, we can send the pump home at that point. It is 7.15 a.m. so it's still nice and cool. And uh, like I said, it's going very good. Uh, I had very high hopes for this pour because, uh, you know, we're pouring with Ingram, ready mix, and the dispatch, his name is Monty, and that guy has yet to uh, do me wrong. I have been pouring concrete with, with them for a very long time, about 15 years, and man, that, that guy is my favorite dispatcher. <laughs> no lie. So anyway, uh, he has been giving us excellent service today like he always has done to me. And uh, so anyway, things are going very smooth. Uh, it's 10.30 a.m. And as you can see, this thing is going pretty quick. So we're gonna put another trial machine on the porch out there. And uh, they are running the pan right now with the other smaller machine. They already panned this one. So, uh, man, I say another hour, so we'll be done here, so. That's another thing about getting up really early, you get to go home early. Okay, so there you have it. It is done and it looks really, really good. This is how they are all supposed to go. <laughs> They're all supposed to go this smooth, but obviously it doesn't happen 100% of the time. Again, this is big part to Monty over at Inger Rennie Mix. That guy has yet to fail me. He sent all the trucks back to back and man, they were here. They were fast and furious and so were we. Anyway, uh, thanks for that. And uh, when we went to go get some uh, lunch for the guys uh, my city slicker friend here uh, Daniel he there was a crop dusting plane on the side of the highway and Daniel's like, oh look at that I'm like sorry so we pulled over got some footage and 
he uh, he had some fun there. He never seen that, and he got to see it just up close and personal. And uh, so anyway, we're gonna put some of that footage in here because some of you may never have seen that up close either. So uh, that was fun. Uh, anyway, we got back. Uh, I helped the guys a little bit with the trial machine because they were falling slightly behind. Uh, and it's always fun to get in there, trust me. Huh? You know, to go back to my roots. But anyway, uh, enough of that. Um, we hit 20,000 subscribers. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> so 20,000 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you are subscribed, thank you. And if you're not, you are missing out big time. So uh, hit the subscribe button. So anyway, that's all I got for today. I'll see you next time. We are Texas Barnuminiums.